East Africa struggling with a lethal legacy from those London, London bombings, the so-called White Widow. Samantha Luthate was married to one of the London bombers, and she's made a name for herself as a terrorism mastermind. CCTV's Clementine Logan has more. She's one of the world's most wanted women. Samantha Luthwaite has been blamed for hundreds of deaths and linked to some of the bloodiest attacks perpetrated by Somali jihadists Al-Shabaab. Luthwaite was named the White Widow after the death of her husband, Jermaine Lindsay, one of the London suicide bombers. At the time, she was portrayed as an unwitting innocent, surprised, devastated and widowed with four young children. Luthwaite, though, had hidden depths. She fled Britain for East Africa and found a cause in Al-Shabaab. She's been on the run for the last four years. The 31-year-old Muslim convert is wanted in Kenya on terror charges. She and Jermaine Grant, another British terror suspect, had allegedly been plotting to blow up tourists in Mombasa in 2011. Some officials and media linked Luthwaite to the 2013 Westgate Mall attack in Nairobi, when Al-Shabaab gunmen killed 67 people, though Al-Shabaab has denied she was involved. Intelligence officials believe she's climbed the ranks in the group, directing raids, suicide attacks and car bombings in Somalia and Kenya. She narrowly escaped a U.S. drone attack in March, Kenyan jets have also bombed camps in Somalia where she was thought to be hiding. Luthwaite is suspected of helping mastermind the slaughter of 148 people at Kenya's Garissa University in April. And intelligence officials believe she helps recruit teenagers and women as suicide bombers. As of this week, security services in more than 200 countries are hunting her. And Kenyan, Somali and British intelligence services are collaborating to capture her, dead or alive. But so far, despite having one of the most famous faces on a wanted poster, the White Widow remains one step ahead. Clementine Logan, CCTV.